Earlier in the show, we did hear from Prince Charles at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Kigali in Rwanda, at least we sent someone to Rwanda, saying that our, while our common threads are uh, in pain, apparently, but our common values are our common wealth. And seemingly, of course, he gives his blessings for other countries to leave the Commonwealth. Here's what he had to say. The benefit of long life brings me the experience that arrangements such as these can change calmly and without rancor. We should never forget the things which do not change. The close and trusted partnership between Commonwealth members, our common values and shared goals, and perhaps most importantly, the strong and enduring connections between the peoples of the Commonwealth which strengthen us all. Yeah, I imagine that's divided opinion. But joining me now is Michael Cole, a former royal correspondent at the BBC. Thank you very much for coming on. What do you think of that, Michael? Then, What was his intention there? Do you think this is a, a green light to, I suppose, for everyone to leave the Commonwealth? Well, the Commonwealth is a unique organisation and it's voluntary membership. People line up to get in. In fact... Uh, we're talking about Rwanda. Rwanda was never part of the British Empire. First of all, it was a German colony in Central Africa. Then it was a Belgian one. And like Mozambique, which was Portuguese, they both applied to join the Commonwealth because it brings a tremendous amount. And the Queen has always recognized this. Our common values, freedom, democracy, uh, and indeed, when there have been countries that have strayed away from democracy and freedom, they've been ejected from the Commonwealth and then later readmitted. So it's a tremendous organisation. The Queen, of course, it was partly set up by her father. He was a leading light in it, King George VI. And she has made that the main plank of her, of her record-breaking reign. And Prince uh, Charles has been designated as her successor, as head of the Commonwealth. Now, you can argue about that. Indeed, I argued about it in a debate uh, which was held in the Palace of Westminster a few years ago. I said there should be an elected head of the Commonwealth, but they went with a successive one. Uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the British throne, which also works. It's the cement. But the Michael, Michael, can I just? So, sorry about sorry about this. It's just we're really pressed for time. We've had a, an absolutely manic show here, and I just want to get something from you quickly before we have to uh, before, before we have to ditch you. But um, do you do you think that, do you think though that Prince Charles should be saying stuff like this? I think a lot of people are concerned that he's gone a bit too woke, and with one of a for one of a better phrase, maybe losing his core audience. Yeah, I think uh, Clarence House, where he lives, uh, tried to play down any differences, any political differences. He would be very unwise, and I would be very surprised if he uh, strayed too far into the political arena, because his job at a Commonwealth con con conference, which this is, is to be, act as a royal referee, to bring people together, to make uh, dis decisions, and actually to find common ground. And uh, he shouldn't go away from that. He would lose his strength and his authority if he did so. Michael, thank you so much, and sorry to, to keep that short and sweet, but I'm sure you can understand. We were, we were overtaken by events somewhat at the start of this show. Michael Cole there, of course, former Royal Correspondent at the BBC. But what do you think, people? I think that, well, if you're just joining us, by the way, uh, Prince Charles was basically in Kigali saying that, um, well, kind of giving the green light, really, I think, for the, well, should we say streamlining of the Commonwealth, to be honest. Also, apologising for what he was calling, you know, historic wrongs, slavery, this, that and the other. Do you think he needs to? Do you think he needs to do all of that kind of thing? Thing. Is he gone a bit woke? But keep all your thoughts coming into us on email, gbviews at gbnews.uk.